releasing this year Black Mid Wukong. It is said to be released in 20th of August 2024 and we play as a monkey. And it is also said to be a Souls-like kind of game but I think it is going to be more like action-ish. What I mean by that is that it's going to be more fast-paced than any Souls-like game. It, it does look pretty goddamn beautiful. When the first trailer was announced, we were all going crazy how good this looks. The hair, the foliage, anything, the environment, the details of the monkey, the fur of the bosses. God damn, it is just so good, man. So, cannot wait for this game. And the sound design? Woo! Like when you hit an enemy, the voice line of a monkey like, what, 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 what? You know? Damn. They did a pretty good job on the voice line, man. So, Black Man Wukong, very, very excited to have this game released this year and cannot wait to play it. The First Descendant. Now, this game has an open beta. I know this is a free to play game, but this game has an open beta right now. No, it is not a full release. I don't know why they name open beta not a full release. Because back then, any free to play MMORPG, when it is said to be in open beta, it is already in full release. But yeah, this is a looter shooter. Yeah, I know. But it does look pretty good. I played it myself. Uh, I like it. And the graphics, man. Unreal Engine 5? cannot disappoint and this game doesn't disappoint <laughs> the gun feels impactful when you hit an enemy it does feel like you are hitting an enemy not a spongy bullet so i do like that the sound design is of course also amazing and yeah it is free on steam so try it yourself what is all this huh there's no way through this is the only place left. There has to be something here. Oh, another Marvel game. This game is said to be in full production. Even though this is only a tech demo for the Unreal Engine 5. I think in like uh, game show or something, I don't know. And wow, the facial animation, the voice acting, the graphics, the visuals. It does look stunning. It's almost like cinema-like. Okay, uh, I don't know how you call it, but oh man, I feel like I'm watching a movie on its own, not a game. Okay, so good looking. I really don't know how I will play this in my PC, even though my PC is quite a beast of a PC. Man, I really cannot wait for the gameplay trailer to be released, and so we can know what it looks like. I'll be there before the sun rises, before the Germans, before that American. The Eye of Force has been found. Please, just stick to the rooftops. Be careful. The heartbeat of the last one. Senua Hellblade 2. For me, I haven't played Hellblade, okay? So keep that in mind so I don't know much about this game. So by the look of it, the stunning visuals, the okay gameplay. <laughs> but I know for sure that this game is going to be like more of a sneaky game. But just by the look of it, the action, the impactfulness of the punch and everything, it does look very promising. So I cannot wait to try it. So Senua's Hellblade 2. The last but of the least is Kingdom Hearts 4. What you are looking at right now, it is made in Unreal Engine 4. But it is confirmed that Kingdom Hearts 4 is gonna be in full development in Unreal Engine 5. So, this is a trailer from two years back. 
Man, I really cannot wait for another trailer and see how this game has been polished, has been made in Unreal Engine 5. I know the Kingdom Hearts game is having this Final Fantasy-esque uh, style graphics or art style if you want to say it. And it does look pretty amazing. So fingers crossed that we will get another trailer in this year. So that's pretty much my top 5 upcoming games made in Unreal Engine 5 that I am excited for. Hopefully you are too. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys again on the next one. And thank you guys so much for watching this one. Bye guys.一度退場すれば元の世界に戻れると思うな。どうしてよ、ジャイオ。手がかり見つかるといいね。はい。どこへ行くんだよ。